you guys it's your girl tay and i'm back with another video thank you so much for clicking on this video today and coming back to spend yet again some more time with your girl if you're new here hit that subscribe button join the fam we would definitely love to have you by hitting that subscribe button and joining the fam you don't only get to join the fam you also enter yourself in a chance to win my very next giveaway which is of right now we are 38 subscribers away from announcing that winner so all those just um all those details are in the description box so check that out you guys you don't want to miss it and there are many more giveaways to come in the future that this i was gonna say that but this will not be my last giveaway you guys today's video i just kind of want to sit down have some coffee with y'all this morning and tell you guys about something that has happened to me here in germany two times and i've gotten the same results two times and it literally blows my mind so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. I really didn't write anything down for these stories. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys about them because it really sheds light on the fact that there are still amazing people in this world. Sometimes with everything going on in the world, you guys, it really sometimes feels like everybody is just out to get each other. You know, the phrase is the dog eat dog world. It sometimes seems like that's all it is, you know, and there's no just, you know, good whatever people left in the world. But yeah, you guys, so... The first time this happened to me, apparently, okay, let me back up. So I had went, it was a, let's say it was a Saturday. I don't remember the day exactly. Um, it was a Saturday. I had went to the bank. It was around the first of the month. I had went to the bank and I had to, well, it had to be the first of the month because um, I had my, I had to go get rent money. So I went to the bank. I got out rent money and I got out grocery money. I went grocery shopping and I was sitting in the back of my dad's car with Mackenzie and I must have gotten out in my, I don't carry a purse. I don't know why. I've never been into purses. I've never liked purses. I just usually have a wallet or like a really, really small clutch, if anything. So I was in the back of the car with Mackenzie and I must have gotten out and just stood up. Mind you, I had just went to the bank, just went grocery shopping. So I had um, you know, leftover money from grocery shopping and my rent money in my wallet, all of my rent money, you guys. And not to just put my business out there or anything or, you know, say exact, it was over a thousand dollars in my wallet. So I must've just got up and got out the car and I, um, dropped my wallet. Didn't realize it, didn't think nothing of it, brought all the groceries upstairs, you guys, about an hour goes by, my mom calls me. Because at this point, I spoke no German. So my neighbors, um, who are also my landlord, they um, called my mom. Because, you know, they didn't know if it was ours or whatever. So anyway, they call my mom. They're like, hey, did one of your girls lose a wallet? Um, you know, I have it with me. I'm in a rush. I picked it up, walked and got into my car. This is my neighbor talking and left. So I have their wallet with me. And my mom called me, she was like, hey, where's your wallet? And I was like, that's so random that she would ask me that. So I go and I look for my wallet. Obviously, I can't find it. And my mom was like, yeah, because the neighbor has it. I was like, are you kidding me? How did I not notice that with all that money in there? And I was just thinking to myself, I was like, I know when they return it, it's not going to have any money in it. You know And I mean? At the end of the day, that'd be my fault. I mean... I dropped it. I'm the one who dropped it. But about an hour or two goes by, she comes back home and she comes upstairs and she brings me my wallet. You guys, there was not a penny out of place. She didn't even open it. She immediately called my mom and said, did one of your girls lose a wallet? And my mom was like, is it blah, blah, blah color and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, yeah. And my mom was like, yep, you know, and called me, called her back, whatever, told her, yes, it was mine. You guys, she didn't even open it to see whose it was. If it was ours, she immediately just called my mom. And as soon as she got home, you guys, she brought me my wallet and it had all the money in it. Not a penny was gone. Mind you, there was over a thousand oidos in my um, wallet. I was so relieved. I could not, I just knew when I got that wallet back, there would be no more money in it. Okay. Another time. You thought I would have learned that time, right? Another time. Matter of fact, this last Saturday. So, we went on Saturday. We went to the pool. When we left the pool, we um, went back to my mom's house, right? We stayed at my mom's house to wait for my dad to get off work because they had to go grocery shopping. So I was going to go with them too to get some groceries for our house. 
Again, I had grocery money in my wallet. And my mom and I go downstairs to get in the car with my dad and my sister was just in the car. So she had two car seats in the back seat. So I took, I put the wallet in my, um, I couldn't have put my phone up there. It had to just been the wallet. I put my wallet on top of the car, took the car seat, took it around to the back, put it in the trunk and hopped in the car. Yep, again, leaving my wallet somewhere. So irresponsible at this point, if I ever walk out of this house without a purse, I need to be smacked, literally, because there's no reason no reason this should have happened two times, let alone one time. It damn sure shouldn't have happened two times, you guys. So I, we're riding around, we're talking, and some stuff had just happened. And then it seems like, it had seemed like everything was just happening, just falling apart, falling apart, falling apart. And we were talking about it all the way to the store. We get to the store, mind you, this is about a, let me back up. Okay. Let's go back to when I was putting the um, car seat in the trunk. Okay. So back up. We go downstairs. I put the wallet on top of the car. I take the car seat out. I put it in the trunk. I hop in the car. We're driving. It's like a 10, maybe 15 minute drive, right? And um, we're driving, we go, you know, under a bridge. And when we go under this bridge, I hear these people, this is like where you're picking up speed because you're leaving the neighborhood. I seen these three guys walking. I didn't think nothing of them. We drove past them. And when we drove past them, they started hooping and hollering. Like the whistle, you know, the loud whistle people can do like this and just yelling, hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't think nothing of it. I thought maybe they seen one of their, you know, their homies across the street or something. So. We keep on driving. The whole way to the store, we're just talking about how it seems like when it rains, it freaking pours. Cause like some stuff has been like, you know, happening. And the whole time we're just talking, talking, talking. I'm not thinking nothing about the wallet. We get to the store, we get out and I'm like, are you shitting me? I left the wallet somewhere. I could not freaking believe it. After we were just talking about when it rains, it freaking pours. We were just talking about how it seems like whenever one thing happens, everything freaking happens. So we immediately hop back in the car. My dad was like, Chante, you need to look out that window and see if you see that wallet anywhere along the side of the road. You know, we're just hoping. So we're driving back. Don't see the wallet. Don't see the wallet. We're driving. We're driving. And, um... When we drove past that spot where I seen those guys, I was like, you know what? My mom was like, I already know what you're thinking. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, what? She was like, when we drove past those guys, they were yelling and hooping and hollering all of a sudden when we drove past. I was like, I know they picked that wallet up. I know they did. So we weren't sure. So we went all the way back to where we originally started. Of course, the wallet wasn't there. We're driving around, we're looking for those guys. Cause we're like, you know, if they tried that hard to get our attention, maybe they're still walking around. And I don't even care if I got the wallet back with no money in it. Like, it's just the fact of the matter that I need the wallet. I need the identification, the ID cards that are in it. I need my driver's license. I need my bank card. Like, I need, they can have the money, you know? At this time there's only, I think like 200 in there. Not to say only 200, but it wasn't as much as the first time. So we're driving around and I'm starting to feel sick to my stomach because if you know anything in Germany is a process, there's no just walking into the um, courthouse and saying, hey, I lost my ID card, can I get a new one? You know, or going to the bank, hey, I lost my bank card, can I get a new one? There's none of that. It's appointment after appointment, explanation after explanation. There's, you know, you gotta make an appointment to get an appointment. You know, my sister's identification was in there. So it's not just mine, it's hers. You know, there's both of our bank cards and I'm just like sick. Like my dad had to pull over. I was so nauseous at this point. I My head was just booming. My stomach was just turning. I was so nervous. So we're driving around, we're driving around looking for those guys and my mom was like well maybe you know since they tried so hard to get our attention they will bring it to the police station because if even if they did look inside the wallet I live in a different town than where we lost it so or I lost it so you know at one point we're just like you know at this point there's nothing we can do but go back to what we were doing, which was trying to go to the grocery store because it was a Saturday night and you guys know things are closed on Sundays. It was already like six o'clock. 
So at this point, I'm just like ready to vomit. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I feel like a jackass. This is the second time it's happened. There was money in it, ID cards in it, driver's license, bank cards, insurance cards, just the whole freaking hoop de hop. okay? So I was like, you know, apologizing to my sister, you know, because her stuff was in there too. I was like, I'm so freaking sorry. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. What can I do? What can I say? I know I didn't do it on purpose. My mom was like, you know, just calm down. You know, I'm sorry, but there's literally nothing we can do. We tried. You didn't mean to do it. We went back. We traced over our steps. We drove around the neighborhoods forever looking for these dudes. Drove past the local restaurants and cafes. Nothing. So at this point, I'm just like, forget it. You know, we drove. We're on our way to the freaking back to the store that we were originally going to. Again, we got to pull over because I think I'm about to vomit because my stress level is through the freaking roof. And my phone rings and I answer it and I'm like, hello. And my sister is like, you will never guess what. I was like, what? Mind you, I lost it in a different town than we live in. I lost it in the town that my mom lives in, right? So... She was like, this dude just came by here and brought my wallet to the house or brought my wallet. Her, she said, your wallet. I was like, are you shitting me? This is insane. I could not believe it. I was like, check to see if the ID cards are there. I wasn't even, I was worried about the money, but I wanted those identification cards so freaking bad. Cause like you guys, it was, it's literally hell in high waters to get anything done around here in Germany. So she was like, everything is in here and the money is in here. Not a cent was out of place. Not a cent was missing, you guys. All the bills, all the change, everything. Everything was there. It was in the exact order we put it in there in and everything. I was so relieved when I heard that that man went out of his way. Mind you guys, we seen him when he was walking with his friends. So he must have turned around, went back home, got in his vehicle, drove to another town to bring us that wallet, you guys. Immediately when she said the wallet was there, my stress level went back down. I was no longer nauseous. I was no longer, my head was not booming anymore, you guys. Like, I was so relieved. I could not believe it, you guys. I know what you're thinking, how irresponsible of me. I know I'm thinking the same freaking thing. I'm gonna do different things, you know, different approach to get different results. I'm never just walking around with a wallet again. I need to, like I told my mom, I was like, I walk around like I'm not almost 30 years old with a freaking wallet. Like, who does that? Like, girl, get a purse. I've just never been in big on purses, but at this point, it doesn't matter what I like, it's what I need and I need to carry a purse. I need to be more responsible, you know? So it's like, that's two times. Almost over $1,500 has been returned back to me. There is a effing fly always here because my windows and doors are always open. It's just too hot to not have them open. But anyways, you guys, that is my irresponsible story time. I'm vowing to myself to never let it happen again. I even hate to say the word never because I feel like every time I say it's never going to happen, it happens. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for sitting down and listening to story time with me today. This is my first story time on my page. Let me know if you guys want to hear more stories about my crazy life, you guys. I'm going to be more responsible. I'm going to keep my stuff closer to me. Because next time I might not be so lucky, you know, next time somebody might not return it to me. I don't know. But you know what? There's not going to be a next time. There's just not. It cannot happen. Literally, it cannot happen. But yeah, you guys, don't forget to check that description box for all the details on my giveaway. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share this video. Like, comment, all that good stuff. My more active subscribers are definitely easier notice. So they definitely will get multiple entries in my giveaway. Follow me on Instagram, you guys. I'm definitely more active there. I have a lot of videos planned for this week, so stay tuned again and again and again. Hit that subscribe button. I love you guys so, 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 so much, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, fam.